I will now describe the crimp operation. So when we've seated our bullets, this cartridge case is ready to go. Crimp is applied to the case mouth to keep the bullet from moving under recoil inside the firearms magazine. If we're not making a heavy recoiling load, we don't need to crimp. But if it is a heavy load, we do need to apply crimp. So you're gonna take your cartridge case, set it back into your shell holder. You're now going to adjust your seat plug up and out of the way because we do not want to change the length of the cartridge. We simply want to apply crimp now. We're going to also loosen our lock ring. We're going to bring the cartridge up and thread the die body down further into the press and we go about a turn which was the same turn we backed off before when we contacted and set it up. We're now bringing it down so the sizing die crimp shoulder is now in contact with the case mouth of the cartridge. We're going to lower the cartridge away, give the die body about an eighth of a turn, and I'm going to feel some slight resistance on the press handle. And what we're doing is the die body is crimping that case mouth into the bullet. We don't want to crimp too much, just a little bit, and that eighth of a turn is all it takes. Once that's adjusted properly and you can look at it, and you could typically see that slight crimp. If you could see a lot of crimp, you typically crimp too much. So if that's what we're looking for, run it back up in there. Screw the seat plug back down now. So we're just bringing it back to where the bullet was. So if you wanted to seat and crimp in the same operation, you would take your next case, set it on there, take your bullet, and you would be seating and crimping in the same operation.